You know, it's funny. I go to these online forums, these chat rooms, and I see these people telling potential new to Linux users, don't install Linux because Linux is hard. Linux is difficult. And it makes me laugh because I don't know what the hell these people are talking about. Because in many cases, Linux is easier than Windows or Mac or any of the proprietary alternatives. For one thing, most Linux distributions these days can be installed in 15 minutes or less, right? Much quicker than Windows can be installed. Of course, most people don't have to install Windows themselves, right? They buy a machine, Windows is already there. Of course, you could do that with Linux. You know, I mean, we don't have a, a huge market share, so there's not a lot of companies that sell machines that have Linux pre-installed, but there's a few custom boutiques out there. So even that criticism, in my opinion, is not a valid criticism. And you get these scaremongers out there, you know, they're saying, hey, if you install Linux, don't, because your system one day is just going to blow up on you, right? It breaks all the time, right? And I don't, again, it makes me laugh because how many millions of Windows users out there have actually destroyed their machines, right? Many, many millions of Windows users have borked their machines by doing something dumb or in some cases, not doing anything at all. Just, just you know, the Windows updates sometimes actually permanently break people's systems. So again, I, I don't understand where all this craziness comes from as far as the Linux is hard crowd. I think a lot of it has to do with a lot of people come to Linux with bad expectations. And what I mean about bad expectations is that these people that are saying Linux is hard for beginners, right? The problem is there's very, very few beginners out there. There's very, very few people that are trying Linux for the first time that have never used a computer, right? Most people have used a computer their entire lives. They've used Windows or Mac, you know, Chrome OS these days is very popular, Android, iOS. They've used all these proprietary operating systems their entire lives. They're not a computer beginner, right? So they go into this with expectations that Linux is going to somehow work like those other proprietary operating systems they've used. And when Linux doesn't meet those expectations, of course, they cry foul, and then they want to blame Linux and, you know, say Linux is hard, Linux is difficult. And you see this with a lot of new users when they first switch to Linux and, and they start using their machine. They just installed Linux Mint or Ubuntu or whatever distribution, and then they go to these forums and, hey, I, I can't find my C drive. Where's my C drive? Where, where are all my programs installed? And then people, hey, Linux, the file system hierarchy on Linux is completely different than your file system on Windows. What? What? Linux is different? Linux sucks, right? <laughs> or, you know, they, they don't have the same applications, right? Where's Windows Media Player? You know, I went to the Arch forums and those guys said Windows Media Player doesn't exist on Linux. Can you believe that? Linux sucks, right? They blame all of this on Linux when really they should blame themselves for having these crazy expectations that Linux is going to be the same as Windows. If Linux was the same as Windows, why would anybody use Linux? I mean, think about it. If all operating systems were the same, we'd all use the same one operating system and there'd be no need to, to try anything else, right? The reason we have many different operating systems is because they're all different. They don't all do the same things. Now, I think part of the problem with this Linux is hard argument, I think where people get confused is Linux has a really odd learning curve because for the most basic computer tasks, which is most people have really basic needs. Linux is super easy. I mean, very simple. Far easier to use than Windows in most cases. So, you know, for many people, Linux is not hard at all. Linux is drop dead easy. Somebody can just take a Linux computer, immediately know how to do everything it is they want to know to, to do, and they're good. The problem is when you need more specialized tools for more specialized tasks. That's where Linux can fall apart a little bit because most of those specialized tools that people need they need one piece of really specialized software. It's proprietary software, and the proprietor of that software only makes a Windows version. And then they blame Linux when that's not Linux's fault. If you want to blame somebody for the fact that your one piece of proprietary software you need is not available on Linux, blame the proprietor of that software. Linux can't make that software work on Linux, right? <laughs> the proprietor of that software that writes a, a Windows version only, they could write a Linux version if they wanted to, go complain to that company because you're, you're when you say that Linux sucks because of that reason, you're really uh, giving Linux a lot more shade than it deserves because that's not a Linux problem. That's a, usually a proprietary software versus free and open source software problem, but I don't want to rant about free and open source software on today's video. 
So Linux is dead simple for basic needs, far easier than Windows, probably better than Windows for more specialized needs. Yeah, things fall apart. But here's the weird learning curve. Once you get past that into more advanced, once you become an advanced Linux user and you learn a lot of command line tools and bash scripting and things like that, then you can kind of make your own tools. You can put a lot of these pieces of knowledge you've gained together and with the use of scripting and a lot of these command line utilities, you can actually make something work for your specialized needs. You can build your own tools at that point. And then Linux is far better than Windows because now you've unlocked so much stuff that you can do on Linux that you can't do on Windows or that are impossible to do on Windows in some cases. So much so that now you would find it frustrating and limiting to go back to Windows or Mac. So Linux has this really strange learning curve and people have bad expectations because they're not really beginners, right? They come into this with these preconceived notions about what Linux should be, and obviously that's not what Linux is. And we're always going to face this problem with these expectations because until Linux has a substantial market share, until we get a much bigger market share of desktop computer users, we're always going to face this problem of these people have already learned how to use a computer on Windows or Mac, and then they're going to think Linux should be Windows or Mac, right? When we gain more of a market share, then people that are learning computers for the very first time will learn on Linux. And then when they try to use those proprietary operating systems like Windows or Mac, they're going to get frustrated at Windows and Mac for not being Linux. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments are going to say, hey, Linux is never going to gain that kind of market share, that kind of adoption. Hey, a guy can dream. And, and honestly, I'm never going to say that that's impossible, that one day Linux won't be a dominant player as far as desktop computing operating systems. Me personally, I do think it's unlikely, but I, I wouldn't count it out because at some point, Windows is, it, Windows is already transitioning. Microsoft is not doing with Windows what they did with Windows 30 years ago. You know, they're, they're doing different things with their operating system. And at some point, they could drive people to actually explore other options. Or it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that Microsoft won't one day transition Windows away from their NT kernel over to using a Linux kernel. And then Windows will actually be just another Linux distribution. And of course, at that point, we're going to be living in this strange, bizarro world where everything is turned on its head, everything's opposite, right? Uh, everybody starts talking about the arch noobs, and then the Windows users are going, by the way, I use Windows Linux. All right, guys. Peace.